I think if you understand Jewish history and Jewish teaching, you can't turn away from injustice. You have to do something about it. I grew up in a family where we were taught very strong moral values, what was right and what was wrong. The National Justice Project was established five years ago as a not-for-profit legal service. Here, George fosters the careers of refugee and First Nations lawyers. I think it really came from a burning desire not to see injustices that had affected my people, the Jewish people, being continued today on the ground in Australia against other marginalised people. When I came out of law school, I needed to do all the things that, you know, I was expected to do. You know, I was taught to be a provider and raise a family and pay a mortgage, and you don't do that with not-for-profit law. We will decide who comes to this country and the circumstances in which they come. I realised how little I knew and was doing about the shocking situation of refugees. And I committed myself to do more. And within weeks, the story of Vivian Salon broke on late line. Vivian was an Australian citizen. She had two kids in Brisbane and she had been wrongfully deported to the Philippines. Seeing the horrific way that Vivian Salon had been treated, all because of prejudice, that case really shocked me. George offered to help. It would become his first human rights case. I was thrown into a space that I'd never been in before, negotiating with the Prime Minister and the Minister for immigration, Amanda Vanstone, and we were winning. While negotiating for Vivian Solon, George took on his first Indigenous human rights case. We're here today to fight for justice uh, for the Mutajulu people. Um, the Minister Mal Bruff has cut off all funding for this uh, community. With George's help, the Mutajulu community won back self-determination. I could see from the start that there was something very wrong about David Dungay's death. And the family knew it too. And I also felt it had the potential to be a very important case on which we could demand systemic change and expose the racism that exists within our, our health system, our justice system and our prison system. I do believe in George, you know, because he's that sort of person. We've got to attack it this way, we've got to attack it that way. But we're not going to stop fighting for justice until you feel that justice has been done. My dream would be to see the First Nations lawyers that are, are training with us and the refugee lawyers who are employed by us ultimately take leadership of the National Justice Project and go on and fight the good fight. But I'll always be there to mentor and support them. I'm not giving up without a fight.